we're making this um, well this is the last in my Christmas of July that we've done for uh, the July um, stamping club and I love this it doesn't require any stamping or you can stamp away uh, and I got this on Pinterest which I'll have a link to it on my blog my red really quick once you get the folds down and I've gone ahead and I've um, used the bow from the Wondrous Wreath uh, stamp set and cut that out and I've picked up some velcro dots which is how it closes and it pops up that gift card and I just think it's really cool and I always hate spending money on gift wrapping for a gift card so this is really cool uh, easy to do with your scrap pieces of paper you will need a nine and a half by four inch piece of paper and this is my template um, that I've made so I would encourage you to create one which I'll have all the instructions on and you'll be able to do once you watch this video uh, create your template and play with the folds so you can get it just right uh, I've also found that I need to do that after I haven't made it for a little while I need to go back and kind of uh, experiment with this this fold so get your and this is perfect to do with double-sided paper um, you could always do single-sided and sandwich them together but absolutely perfect to do with uh, double-sided paper and I am using some paper from Stampin' Up that's in the current um, catalog so it's readily available. So our score marks are going to be at one and three quarters and then again at four and a half five and three quarters and then seven inches. Okay, again, that's one and three quarters, four and a half, five and three quarters, and seven inches. And I'll have this online. So I'm done with my scoring. So I'm going to take this board and put that away. Now I'm going to do my folding. And what I like to do is to do my ends first. So I'm going to take this end. Actually, I'm going to fold it. You do need to decide which is your inside and which is your outside. So I'm going to make the stars my outside there. Okay, that goes like that. And I know that goes like that. And this middle one there is going to fold up like that. There we go. Okay. So now that I have all my folds, I like to kind of dry fit it and make sure that it folds correctly, which it does. Then you're going to take a strip of glue on your outside. So this is my inside, this is my outside. And you want to make it as narrow as you can because your gift card's going to want to get into there. So I'm going to put a strip like that down there. And these two are going to be sandwiched together like that. Okay. And that's what creates your pop-up. Got a little excess there. Okay. So you'll notice that's what creates your pop-up there. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is the oval stamp or oval punch and I'm using the one and three quarters by seven eighths. So I'm going to take that and if you want to you can measure. I just kind of eyeball it and we're only going to use half of this oval. So I'm going to kind of eyeball it there, about in the middle. Whoop. Okay, so there is where our gift card would go. Only it's not going to fit just in that oval, so I'm going to take my scissors and open it up to probably within about a quarter of an inch. There we go. So my gift card would be able to fit right into there. The last step is to make the closure. Now you could just leave it like this, but it does pop up. If you're gonna put it in an envelope, I guess that's fine. I like to use these uh, Velcro closures, and I like to take the, it has a white, the particular ones I have have a white and a clear. I like to put the white right there, 
and then I stick the loop side or hook side down and what I do is I put them together like this and then sandwich it. You want to be careful. And you pull. There we go. And then I'm going to take my bow here from the Wondrous Wreath and stick him on. Just put a little dot. that up and stick him right there and now I have my pop-up gift cold card holder using stamping up paper it's all ready for your gift card hope you've enjoyed my last in the series of Christmas in July and happy stamping everybody